Hello, my name's Sarah and I'm here to talk to you all about books. So my business is called Brilliant Books for Children and I've been speaking to Mrs Ball at your school and she tells me that you are absolute fantastic readers, listeners to stories, you love reading books so I'm come to here, I've come here to set you a challenge. So I'm hoping that the parents, the children, the teachers and the governors will be watching this and finding out how you can get lots more books into your school library, into your classrooms and I'm here to transform your school library. So I'm going to give you a little presentation. So again, my business is called Brilliant Books for Children and I'm what's called an Usborne partner. So there may be some books that you recognise on this presentation. So let's just share my screen and let's get started. So again, I'm here to transform your school library. My first question to you is, do you love books? You may be watching this in your assembly, you may be watching this in your classroom, and I want you to shout out yes or no after three. Do you love books? One, two, three. I don't think I heard you quite enough. I'll ask you again. Do you love books? One, two, three. Excellent. That is just what I want to hear. So, was born have lots and lots of books there may be some books here that you recognize some books like that's not my books some books on coding or human body or we have books about space or the sunshine here we have lots and lots of us born books now i'm going to talk to you about a reading challenge now this reading challenge is really really exciting and it's called ready steady read I'm going to challenge you to read as much as you can for a whole week. So what and how much do you think you can read in a week? Hopefully lots. So from the minute you wake up, from the minute you grab that cereal, I want you to be seeing how many cereal, how many wheat bricks are in a pack. What's the nutritional value of your um, in your bread? How many calories are in your cocoa pops? Whatever it is, I want you from the minute you wake up to be reading. And then if you go to a restaurant, I want you to say to your parents, I don't want you to read to me. I want to read myself. I want to decide what I want on that menu because I want you to sponsor me for lots and lots of things. And if you're lucky enough to have some screen time at the end of the day and doing things like this, and you read in your screen, you can get sponsored for reading that and ask people if they'll sponsor you to read things like that. And that's for a whole week we're going to run this. And then, of course, you can read lots of books. These are lots of hours born books that another school got. So you're going to get some letters sent home. You're going to get a letter to your parents to explain everything about what you're going to do. You're going to get a reading log, which is going to report how many minutes you read each day. You're going to have a sponsorship form and then you're also going to have a community book pledge letter. So if you're an adult re reading this and um, sort of watching this, you may want to pass that community book pledge letter around to local businesses. You, you may own your business self and want to offset a bit of tax and therefore donate a small amount of money to support Orchard Head Primary School in order to transform their school library and we will send you posters as a thank you um, and we'll recognise you on our social media. So children these letters are going to come to you from your class teacher and then you need to take them home and explain more what you've watched on my video. So how can you help as children? I want you to read lots. Now, this may be to read into siblings, your younger children, your younger brothers or sisters, or your older brothers or sisters. It may be on FaceTime or Zoom to grandparents or family that may not be local to you. And you're going to see if friends and family will sponsor you to see how much you can read and raise some money. Now, somebody tells me there are about, I think there's just a few more than 350 pupils in your school. Now, if all 350 pupils could bring just two pounds into your school you're going to get 700 pounds worth of books do you think you could all do that i think you could if you could all raise five pound if you could bring five pounds in 
then you're going to come out with £1,750 of books. If you can raise £10, you're going to come out with £3,500 worth of books in your school. Can you imagine what that would look like if I came and delivered those into your school hall? Probably would look like this, probably even more could have piles of books and we're going to split that between the classrooms and the libraries. Now I talk about that I think all of you are stars. Now there's a reason for that because I think stars means that you're going to sit together and read stories and I think that's the most important thing that you aim to sit together and read stories and go and be a star. So go out and get sponsored. Let's fill your library and classrooms with brand new books. Good luck. Let's smash this challenge and go and be stars. Good luck, everyone at Orchard Head Primary School. I will be in touch with Mrs Ball and I cannot wait to find out how many books I will be delivering to your school to transform your school library. So I shall see you all at another time and I will be back on to chat with you when I can have a figure and see how many books we can get into your school. Speak soon everyone, bye!